what we're gonna put in right now. I'm gonna at least put it in the van and then uh, cut it out and either now or later glue it down. But I'm gonna try to make uh, the flooring as good as I can uh, so we can get along. And after this, it should only be to cover the walls and then I can put up cabinets and bed and everything else. So yeah, let's do it. So this is the floor that I'm gonna cover with the vinyl and the roof is already done. And so I'm just gonna cover the floor and I have actually covered the sides as well. So I'm gonna do that here and here as well uh, but for now i'm gonna put down the vinyl to wrap this up because after that it's it's just the walls and then i'm gonna put down beams with a little bit of magic put down a bed here and cabinets and yeah you know everything that you need in a camper van so with that said let's get out the vinyl mat and put it down This is actually looking really good, uh, despite that it was the cheapest vinyl floor I could find on the internet. You know, you're searching and searching and searching and this was what I find. It's 10 bucks for the square meters, so I paid roughly 120 bucks in total for this and, and glue. That's not bad and it actually looks much much better in real life than it did on the internet so or internet as you say so yeah i'm pleased Here's a little bit of a reminder that the uh, water is not your friend. I notice that uh, when I cut the floor that this was drenched in water. This is soaked, you can see. And not up here, only here. So I started to wonder why, because I have not had any water problems before. Uh, except in the ceiling, but that that is uh, sealed up and uh, not a problem anymore. So, uh, the thing I did when I put in this fabric was that I wrap, wrapped it around this edge, outside. This That means that this acting like a wick, because it was on the outside, so it has rained today, so the water goes down here, but do not get in because you have this weather seal. But because I wrapped this around the, <laughs> and on the outside, it was on the outside of the weather seal that sits there normally. And that soaked up water and made it uh, 
crawl in and pull up down here. Just glad that I cut it now and not when I'm on the road. So I had to cut this down because this was folded over quite a lot. Think about these things. What's gonna be on the inside has to be on the inside and not go on the outside. So yeah, just a reminder. As you can see, it's not much left. And uh, actually, that one, that one, that one, and these two is actually gonna be left behind because the new buyers want it, so. Less work for me. So this, it's just a guitar and a box here that I'm gonna take out and then it's done in this room. And here is the kitchen. It's a little bit messy still, but I'm putting down the kitchen table. That was my grandmother's. And something I want to do is I saving this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, I'm saving this bit of the kitchen table because I want to make a bench part in the van, the kitchen area. And I think that's gonna be enough. That would be a fun, Fun project and fun to have left of her because she passed away. That's why I have her table. Um, so I think that's gonna be roughly enough for the kitchen area. Uh, but I don't need uh, the legs, so that has to go. So that's a little bit tour of the house. It's, uh, this is just a third of the house, but as you can see, uh, the moving is uh, going along. I can tell you this much, don't expect this life-changing thing to be easy, it's not. It's uh, it's really hard because it feels like you're li leaving your life behind, who you were and what you identify with. And it's true in one sense, but you actually just go to another life to live, but yeah. In this in-between state, it's it's really hard on your mental health. So be prepared of that if you're doing something like this. I mean, I've been here quite a while in this house with my cat that now lives as my father's house. Uh, and this house is sold. I'm not kidding. This is the fifth one with trash. Not even things that I'm gonna have left. So yeah, you pile ton of shit when you're 
when you live in a big place, especially when you are by yourself. That's also why I want to do this. I want to minimize things because the less thing you have, the less they own you, if you got what I mean. So yeah, so think about that. And if you want to do this lifestyle, go for it. It's, uh, it's hard in the beginning especially uh, i'm not even started the lifestyle and yes leaving the old thing is hard so i'm not saying it that it's that for everyone but if you have a place you feel you don't want to be at but emotionally you're attached to it anyways it can be really hard especially for me it's been a lot of things happening here through the years but now it's time to go to new adventures and to explore myself and Europe. So that's how it's gonna be. The floor is done, finally. It just took two weeks from when I'm started. First, I ran out of glue. Second, when I got the new glue, I got sick. So yeah, you know, life happens. But now it's done. Uh, I put it down, the last bit down here. So the thing I've done here, <coughs> after I glue the floor down into the subfloor, is that I put, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's Sikaflex 221, just to cover the seams. And I, I don't know if this is a bad or a good idea, but for me, in my head, this makes it waterproof so if I spill anything you know your water glass or your PP jar or whatever if if the accident accident is there you don't want whatever it is to soak down into the subfloor so I think this is a good idea but I have to see with the time finally I can go on to the walls because the ceiling you can see is done I also put down the solar panels, they are on the roof. I have another video for that. Another thing is that I have another heat source. I have a diesel heater there, there. Uh, so that's nice. So yeah, things going along. And I have all the electrical stuff inside the house and it's gonna be mounted here somewhere. I don't really know yet how to do it. Uh, this is a little bit planned on the fly, plan, build, you know, it's it's not an exact science because I want to move in and do the stuff I want to do. So if it's not good enough, I have to change it later on, but I think it's gonna be good. The first thing, I'm gonna do the bed and the th thing here and I had to put up some beams into the walls. I have something to actually build the frame onto and then I'm gonna ladder is that how we say it ladder the wall or cover the wall in wall cover it's a plywood three millimeters the same I use to put the fabric in the in the roof in with so yeah it's gonna be nice make sure to hit the you know the thumb button if you like this video and uh, not to miss the other videos that's coming and not to mention the journey when this build is done, when I'm getting out on the roads. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one.